Hey there, Akuma fans. Charlie with the Gossiper Application staff. Today we are addressing every Akuma user. Woo! Yeah, an awful lot of these videos that I put out are specifically for the L control or specifically for the M control. Today we're doing a video that's going to cross the entire gambit. L, M, S, all of them. Ever had this happen? Let's see if I can center that a little better. If you've ever had an alarm that says stroke end over and then the axis being specific right here, what that means is that for some reason your machine has completely over traveled. Now we all know, let's go into my collision avoidance here, we all know that if, um, if you just manually move the machine either with the pulse generator or the arrow keys like I'm doing, when the machine runs out of travel it simply stops. The computer is smart and it says, okay, well, that's all I got. No alarms, no muss, no fuss. However, if something really bizarre happens, you can get that stroke end over alarm. I can give you a couple of examples. Uh, if your presetter is down and you hand wheel the machine into the touch setter instead of using the execution keys, you know, that would be these guys here. If you haven't touched one of the execution keys but one of the sensors gets touched, then you can get this stroke end over alarm. If they call it sensor protect in that case. The, uh, the other example that I have is on an NC tail stock. It's expecting to go to a certain position. If the material slips back into the chuck or call it and the, uh, the NC tail stock jerks to the left under its own load, it can give you that stroke end limit alarm. Okay, enough explanation, Charlie. Now tell me what the heck to do about it. This is outlined in the alarm manual. However, what we need to do step by step is first we're going to go to the back of the machine, open up the electrical cabinet, and inside you're going to find a unit that looks just like this. On the lathes it's generally down towards the bottom, uh, in the mills it's off to the bottom left, but we're looking for this little toggle switch right here labeled MFEC1 and it's got an off and an on position. This is the emergency over travel release button and I suggest you use this very sparingly. It's, uh, <laughs> it can get you into trouble, but this switch is going to defeat the uh, emergency over travel that you're touching right now. Uh, if I can go back to the original, if we are in over travel condition, I can hit reset until I'm blue in the face and it will not solve the problem. And as you noticed from my original picture, this is an alarm A, that's an emergency stop condition. In other words, I'm not doing squat until I fix the issue. And so my fix is to first turn this MFEC1 switch to the on position. Then I'm going to come over to the machine and in manual mode I can use the jog keys to move the tool away from the danger zone. Now I've been told that you can only do it with the pulse generator but uh, uh, I'll leave that to you to figure out for sure since I don't have an actual machine sitting in front of me I can't confirm that but uh, with that MFEC1 switch on we can then reset the emergency e-stop condition and very carefully creep back away from whichever axis it was that caused the problem. As soon as you move oh, a quarter inch or so eighth inch is probably going to be enough. Make sure that you go back into the electrical cabinet and return this switch to the off position. If you don't do that, the machine is going to ignore the emergency over travels and you're no longer protected. So make sure you turn that thing back off. Then uh, you're now out of the way so you can reset and uh, fix the problem that caused the issue in the first place, whether it's uh, tightening up your, your clamping or uh, simply fix your program. But uh, that should solve you in the stroke limit problem. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We're available to help you out anytime.